Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody, to the Painted Wolf. We're looking for dogs. We're here. looking for the Borks. Hmm, apparently there's a Bork down here. Make friends with them! The Tanookis? They eat meat, whatever they They're are. They're raccoons! Be a tanuki. I don't know what that is. It's a raccoon dog. Uh, right. Don't bite him. He's trying to love you. He's a beautifully drawn bomb. He's egg shaped. <laughs> Yeah, every single one of them, that's for food. What food am I supposed to give it? Meat! It's not allowing me to open the menu like the other ones. Okay, we can't just open... Oh, wait. I forgot. <laughs> I have to buy a whole bunch of meat then. <laughs> At least he praises me for it. <laughs> yes. My master, Princess Fuse. I know it's like Fuse or something, but like, it's Fuse. It's Fuse. Yeah. Princess Fuse and Riai. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna try and pronounce these as wrong as possible, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, it's night time. Well, we should get that move back. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. I know my astro pouch is full for when they demand when I, when I potentially die. How the fuck do I get out of here now? Where is it? The, is there a bulb or something? That way. Oh, you missed a thingy. It's rock. I can't dig, oh, I can't dig here. I thought it was rock. Oh, don't listen to the wife. Look, it's Mr. Bamboo. Look at this man. He looks a lot like Mr. Orange. <laughs> it's Mr. Orange's twin brother. There's a dog in a tree. It's a little fucking Pomeranian. I know. Can we agree right now that when we get our dog, we're not getting a Pomeranian? No, we don't want a little furball. I don't mind them. It's They're so yippy. I would like a Korg or a Golden Retriever. Corby shall the Corgi, not Corby. Uh, Corgi. We could call him Chatter after the, the Corgi from Brooklyn Nine Nine. I not watch that movie. Show. show. Yeah, it's really funny, but it's more like American humor, and I know you prefer like British humor, so it's quite dumb, but in like the funniest way. Ha! A stray bead. I just has apparently I'm just eating bamboo why not do you know there's a kind of torture where they like shove bamboo under your nails 
That sounds awful. Yeah. Because it never fucking comes out. It, like, splinters into your, like, skin and stuff. Oh, it's just, I don't know. But... Poochie and little bug. You're, you're not meditating. There's a difference. You're, you're awful at names. Do a dig. I'm digging. A clover. It's a right. clover. A clover? A clover. Alright, you're gonna have to buy some more meat. Yeah, just sell me stuff, Dud, dude. Dud? Dud. Ooh, he's got a new weapon. And he's got gold dust. He has multiple gold dust. I don't no, I don't wanna do wait, do I have more requests of this LU? No. Okay, you can have the fish. There you go. Just legendary s stop talking. Legendary sand in my ass. That wasn't even worth that much. No. Look. Uh. It hit dog. <laughs> you have found Doge. Hello, Doge. Uh. Yes, I'm. They're all just- ah! oh, Bless you. I'm so sorry. How many of these dogs we gotta find? This is the third one. Okay, so we have to find five total? Yep. Yeah. So we know already know where the one is, because it's with that boy. What you said five are here. No. Oh. This is the fourth one. I thought that was only the third. Oh, sorry, third one. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, we know where two other ones are. One's in Kamiki and one's in the forest. I blame you. <laughs> Why you blame me? Not you, Susano. <sighs> So apparently this little thing is actually based off some sort of myth or something. What? The cock? No, the canine warriors. Hmm. Don't ask me what it is. I like can't. a Japanese myth? Yeah. I'm gonna look that up right now. You're gonna have a history lesson with me, guys. I don't know if it actually involves, like, literal dogs, but I could have sworn it's supposed to be based off some real Shinto or Japanese myth. Okay. Uh, the Hakenden, also known as the Legend of the Dog Warriors. Oh. It's what? from an anime. Never mind. Oh, maybe it was the anime. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, 
Um, I don't think it's based on a myth. Um, but it's, um, it's based on a, uh, um, to do to do an Edo period romantic novel okay um written in the second half of the Edo period by Takazawa Bakken over a period of 28 years in which eight dog warriors who possess curious beads fight battles that faithfully follow the doctrines of regimentation and Bushido okay Um, Lord Yoshizane Satomi of the Awa province is forced to give the hand of his daughter, Princess Fuse, Princess Fuse, in marriage to a dog named Yatsufusa after the dog saves the province in battle. The princess, a dutiful, a dutiful wife, tries her best to be a comfort to her dog husband who happens to be haunted by evil spirits. Uh, later, certain events lead to the death of the princess, but as she dies, she gives birth to eight beads. Years later, eight dog warriors, each possessing a bead, appear on Earth and, driven by their shared bond, they consolidate the Satomi clan and try to create a utopian world. And so Satomi can... Okay. There's the, uh, that's Princess Fuse. Okay. Um, 106 volumes <laughs> published between 1814 and 1842. It's set in the Sen Sengoku period, so it's set in the 1500s. Uh, the Hakendon is the story of eight samurai half-brothers, all of them descended from a dog and bearing the word dog in their surnames. Um, This, um, the, um, Nanso Satomi Hakenden, which is the name of the epic novel, had a great deal of influence on Akira Toriyama's Dragon Ball and Rumiko Takahashi's Inuyasha. Cool. Man. Oh, I'd argue more so Inuyasha than Dragon Ball. <laughs> well, with Dragon Ball, it's the theme of, like, going and co collecting, like, magical crystals or magical balls or something. Okay. But Toriyama's work was definitely more heavily inspired by A Journey to the West. Well, yeah. I mean, seriously, his, his main character's name is Son Goku. Find me a dog. Oh no, the bad people. How do you kill the bad people? I don't think you can. But isn't there a way that you can get them, like, away? Look at his mustache with a pair of scissors. I don't like that. Don't you have to get into the top of the house? That's like the thing.
Like, mm. if I'm remembering correctly. Glass beads. Can I just show this to the lady? I know there's, there was something that you have to get. Yep. You had to go there. Yeah, I did my charge a little too early. Eh. That was beautiful. I didn't accept my egg. I think you have to like blow up the roof or something, don't you? I already did, but I have to wait for the night. But. Because I don't have super, I don't have the moon ability yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the lady was saying, how the night gives them strange things. Does something strange, strange powers, thing. yeah. So I gotta wait out some time. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. Okay, thank you. more yen, I should say. Yeah, I was gonna say because it's 50,000, right? Yep. Yeah. Tree. And a second tree behind it. Good job. That was a beautiful circle. Well, it's all about interpretation. <laughs> the gods, they're actually not that picky. <laughs> I know, I'm joking, baby. I don't know. Oh, this is the... Oh, I can't do anything with this right right now. Yeah. The sparrow thing. Until I find the young sparrows. Horses! <gasps> Horses! To eat the herbs. Nay. Nay, Quinny. Quinny? Quinny. Interesting. The horse I fed was brown. Those ones are black, though. But another horse is coming in and steal their food. Huh? The feeding animation, the horse is brown. Oh. No, the, the horses there are black. I mean, did another horse come in and just steal their food? Yes. Always. A demon gate. A tree. I said tree. <laughs> oh, it's Good job. It's right the demon gate. I think spots were too close to me. Ooh, foxes. Do you like the fish? The meat. Foxes are carnivores. Yeah. What are you doing, sir? You, you enjoy doing that, sir. I'm gonna go banish some demons. A demongate. A demongate? Yeah. Damn it's the fish. Don't let the fish hump you. You don't want to have weird flying fish wolf babies. Or do you? No. Because I'm, like, I'm not going to judge you. I love you, so I will support you in whatever you decide to do with your life. 
a crazy cannon here, that's a cannon. Bork, 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 bork. Bork, bork. Bork! Deer. Deers! Give them... The grains! The grains? Gonna be, okay, I was gonna say, it's gonna be real weird if a buck wasn't actually in this group. <laughs> Why? Maybe these deer pro reproduce through mitosis. <clears throat> I know, but they, they can't reproduce it that quickly. And there's, a, there's a young deer there as well, which shows they at least have, they have to grow on, at some point. Mm, you never know. Did I defend this deer already? I did not. Greens. Greens! That's weird not being called. I know, but you guys should have a challenge for yourself. I know. I'll get it, it's just. I'll get it eventually. It's gonna be hard for a couple days. Oh, yeah, so guys, I have put myself to the test a little bit. Because I'm sure all of you can probably relate to this, that you're a little addicted to your phones. Like, everybody is just on their phones all the fucking time. And, like, even when we, like, me and Ryan, are having family time with our, like, parents and stuff. Um, like, we're all sitting there, like, on our phones. And I just kind of came to realize that that's not really what I wanted to be anymore and you know thinking back on like growing up and everything like I um there was a small sheep beat it um growing up like I don't remember a lot of my little sister's childhood because I was either always on my computer or always on my phone and I don't want that anymore. I'd, I'd rather spend the time with Ryan or, you know, my mom or, you know, I just, I don't want to be attached to a screen all the time. So what I've done is for every single weekend from 8 p.m. until uh, 9.30, 8 p.m. on Friday until 9.30 on Monday, um... 9.30 on Mondays, I, um, I'm not allowed to go on any social media apps. Um, it's an, a challenge I issued to myself, so before anyone says anything, like, I did this to myself. Um, and then during the week, I can only go on two hours every day for Facebook, Instagram, and, uh, Twitter and 45 minutes every day for um, Snapchat and like Facebook Messenger. And it locks as soon as, um, as soon as like your time limit is up. And there's a code, um, there's a code to put in. Um, and the only person who knows the code is Ryan. So, you know, like an addict, I'm trying to stop myself from, you know. Um, just trying to stop myself from going online. And Ryan's the only one who has the code, so I can't. I can't access it after the after a certain point. I think it's gonna be healthier for me. Get to spend more time with my baby. And less time staring at a screen. It's definitely gonna be hard though, because as Ryan can attest, I am quite addicted to my phone. <laughs> it's a little bit. I know, but I'm trying but to get I know, better. I'm not criticizing you. I know, baby. Oh boy. Forbes. Forbes. Sorry I went on for so long, guys. That's not what you were here for. Sometimes it helps to talk about life, though. But yeah, if any of you want to join me in this challenge, you know, comment below your success. And the winner will get my respect. 
<laughs> which is not worth much. <laughs> I don't know what these ones need. Not fire slash. Mm. And now I get a dog. Oh no, it's a bird. Yeah, it's the little bird. Remember, because the the old woman was saying like we have to wait for it to sing for us or something. My name is Chun. Short for Chungus. I mean, she's not a Chungus yet. <laughs> yeah, she's a junior Chungus. She'll get there. I mean, she can literally barely lift herself off the ground, so... I'm not saying I'm much better, and I am quite the Chungus. I mean, she's staying ahead of me, though. Fucking bird. Give me a thing. Do you like the others? No. We got me into hurricane. I can't get hurricane until those stupid dogs, you know, shut up and help me. Yeah. Where'd you go, birds? Late. Ooh, another dog. Doge. Sheep. Eat the meat. I would love to have a sheep, but they're so like, it's a really hard breed. Yeah, they're smart dogs. So you have to train them. Well, it's not even just that they're smart. It's that typically, Shibas only like latch on to like one person, and like that's their person kind of thing. And, like, yeah, it's, like, normal for dogs to, like, have a person or whatever, but, like, sheeps get, like, fiercely protective of them. And, um, it's just, like, a thing. Like, I, um, when I volunteered at the Humane Society from when I was in, like, grade 10 until the end of grade 12, okay. um, we had puppies come in at one point that were half sheep. And, um, like, they would not let them adopt them out unless the people had shown that they did research on sheaves first. I was very lucky, though, because I got to go in and cuddle with them one day. Because okay. they were all crying and, um, nobody else at the Humane Society could, like, spare time for it. And I had already done all of my, like, rooms and stuff. Because, like, my, my job at the Humane Society was, like cleaning the cat room, like, the cat cages and feeding them and, like, taking care of, like, giving them meds if they need them or whatever. Um, and playing with them. But, like, I was done all of mine for the day. So, um, I just, uh, I got to go in and cuddle with puppies for, like, an hour or two while mom was working in the store. It was a good time. They were so cute. The one just like curled up in my lap and it was so small. <laughs> yeah, we're not thinking a sheep. At least until after we have kids. And they leave home. <laughs> right? Yep. It's because we don't want them getting like aggressive with a kid. Are you gonna go find all the dogs? No one in the midst of finding one. Oh, I didn't know there was one in here. Well, there's a red marker. I'm assuming there's one around here. Yeah. Hmm. But either way, we'll have to see that dog next time on Three Dorks Place. Peace! Bork, bork. Bork, bork. <laughs> <laughs>